This is a footnote to the main video about protecting people's privacy when you publish statistics from a medical study or the census or whatever. There are two kinds of privacy violation that can happen from a survey, and they're qualitatively very different from each other. The first kind is the direct breach of the privacy of an individual by somehow revealing private information specific to them, like their birthday or blood type or Harry Potter house. And this is the kind of privacy violation the main video focused on. The second kind is an indirect violation of privacy via association with a group, like how men are more likely to be overpaid or how Slytherins are more likely to be evil, or how overpaid men are more likely to be Slytherins. Of course, revealing trend-based information about a group is precisely the purpose of doing surveys. We as a society want to know the expected lifespan of smokers versus non-smokers, or the typical month in which professional hockey players are born. But if a survey reveals that hockey players are more likely to have January birthdays, then knowing somebody plays in the NHL gives you insight into a supposedly private piece of information, and does so regardless of whether or not that player themselves participated in the survey. If we wanted to protect the privacy of individuals 100%, pretty much the only option would be to outright prohibit all studies and surveys that use any individual information whatsoever. But then we couldn't have representative democracies, or study diseases, or keep an eye out for dark wizards coming out of Slytherin, or lots of other useful things. So if you are going to do a study, the best you can do is to not violate any participant's privacy more than their privacy would have been violated if they hadn't participated in the study. That is, the current wisdom is that it's okay to reveal that NHL players are more likely to have January birthdays, but it's not okay to reveal the birthday of a specific player. And of course, you'd have to reveal the January birthdays fact using a mathematically guaranteed privacy protection. But that's what the main video is about, so go watch it. And if you want to ensure that you don't have online information specific to you stolen or published, I highly recommend using Dashlane, this video's sponsor and a tool that can greatly simplify and secure your online life, as it has mine. With Dashlane, every single site or online service you use gets a strong, unique password, and Dashlane securely remembers them so you don't have to. Dashlane also, with your permission, autofills online address forms and credit card info, saving you time and hassle. It's really nice. You can get a free 30-day trial of Dashlane Premium, which also includes Dashlane's VPN, by going to dashlane.com slash minutephysics. Again, that's dashlane.com slash minutephysics, and use coupon code minutephysics for 10% off at checkout if you decide to go that route. I'd like to thank Dashlane for simplifying and securing my life.